What was I trying to say earlier? Butch, butch. No, I think you were saying um, whole grain, whole foods. No, you said uh, we are buying frat bed at Whole Foods. <laughs> Welcome to Curiosity Public, Dutch, Jules, Angel Dylan. <laughs> it is shorter, at least. <laughs> yeah, but it's not alliterative. You know, I was hoping for an alliteration again from Dylan. I'm growing. Sure. All right, guys. Well, welcome. Oh, I'm him. <laughs> giving up. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to yet another one of our world famous Drink throughs. Oh, actually, don't steal it. Um, I, I, you know that guy. That, that guy. I shouldn't steal our trademarked drink through. I, you know, if somebody steals drink through, I think we're all going to be very upset. But yeah. uh, anyway, I will be. welcome to uh, a drink through of one of my favorite tequila brands, El Tesoro. I've been wanting to do this for a while. They've got a pretty interesting lineup, and I felt like this would be a fun one to do. Sure. I mean, do you guys like this brand? It is indeed a treasure. It is a treasure. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. I see what you did there. Uh -huh. And we should note, uh, in our blind series, if you haven't seen that series already, uh, El Tesoro was a part of that. So these have all been in our blinds. Not all these, but the, the core lineup has been in our blinds. Uh, I recall the Blanco doing very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, spoiler alert, if you want to watch that, go watch it. But the uh, Extra Añejo, which I'll have to make sure comes out before this video now, uh, <laughs> did very well in that too, I think. So, all right. You guys ready to kick this off? You ready to drink some tequila? Well, so Great. just a quick... Or should we talk about what we have? Well, well, we should talk about what we have. This is from the Camarena family, right? Yes. Um, ironically, it's distributed by Beam Centauri. <laughs> but, you know, it's one of those uh, old labels, Legacy, Legacy right? Brand. Legacy brands yep. thought to have uh, maintained the kind of the traditional style, very labor-intensive style of making these tequilas. I mean, they were kind of uh, the trailblazers. I think they were the first to come out with like a three-year aged mm. tequila when nobody was doing that stuff. Yeah. Um, I think they called it like Muy Añejo. Mm -hmm. um, and then, and then, of course, you can't Extra, say that. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, anyway, that's, so I'm excited. Yeah, what we got is their Blanco, Rapo, and Yeho, the core of the lineup here. Then we've got one of their uh, single barrel Añejos. This one is uh, finished in uh, Lafroy barrels. Then we've got their regular Extra Añejo. Actually, why don't you get that out of the box while we're talking about it? Sure. Then we've got the Paradiso. You can get it out of the box there as well, which is their their older aged. Um, uh, extra añejo, and I believe it's is it a cognac finish? I, I don't remember what the finishing is, but I believe or there's there's another kind of barrel barreling in there somewhere. It's gonna not work there. You, Jeez. Um, and then uh, now purpose. he's got a cut. I did it on purpose. <laughs> and then at the end we've got the uh, the old Paradiso. So Paradiso used to have that nice colorful label on it, and this is actually a really old batch. I, I just looked at the label, so it's. One of the C batches. So again, the A and B are the most highly coveted. The C is still very good. I believe it's like a 2013 bottle or something like that. Yeah, so. We appreciate that you're and taking this out from your collection. That is from my personal. 2013, folks. Yeah, my, my per personal collection. That yeah, was my, that's like, uh, you know, uh, over a decade ago. Yeah. Look, yeah. he did not touch this too, man. So I've what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, it doesn't mean something. Mm. Not good? Well. <laughs> Well, let's find out. Let's kick it off with the Blanco. All right, guys. Blanco, El Tesoro. Quick look at the bottle there. Show the cork. It is, is a stone. Yeah. It is one of... Like that and the Fortaleza. Um, Two of the best. Yeah, I yeah. love I love that cork. Yeah, this cork oh, is fantastic. So cool. It is like a little piece of rock. Yeah. It's like concrete. It's got weight. <laughs> yeah, I love nice it. heft to it. Yep. Oh, just I mean, I can get the, oh. I can get, you get it out of the bottle. Mm -hmm. Such a fresh and all over the table, crisp mm -hmm. <laughs> agave flavor. Not that bad. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, I refuse to land this on Somebody, the table. They took off. Dylan. Look at this. You guys moved it over here. Are you guys punking me? No, but no, sometimes no we have to your station. You, that was all you, are dude. You, are you uh, this. a punky booster? What a cheap stick, Sometimes we dude. need to clean the set. You know, he doesn't know what happens in between yeah, no, shoots. Seriously. But uh, we do clean occasionally. Surprisingly. Man, the aroma. Yeah, you get it from Ooh. here. I mean, you Little don't need to go... agave. Wow. Oh, I love this. this it is... is, it is there, there's so much mm. depth. Yeah. 
and wait. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is one of those things where it's not like this mm. kind of fleeting, just kind of a, a short-lived myopic aroma. It is. Mm. It is just broad it's in its so, presentation. So in your face, it doesn't punch you though. It's yeah. so bright and, and bright, yeah. and just crisp on the nose. I, I love the crisp crispness. I love the subtle vegetal component, and yeah. it's. Really, 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 mm. so it's just so subtle that you might miss it, and yet it provides a really nice balance to everything else that's being presented, which is just, just, oh, wonderful presentation mm. of the agave. Mm. Mm-hmm. I've mentioned this in, um, I think in some other episodes or maybe in one of our podcasts about how this has become one of those go-to uh, meal, accompany- meal accompaniments for me. Like, yeah. with a meal, I've been really enjoying Blanco's and especially Altasor when it's on a lot of menus. Anything and can, specific? N- anything. I really think it can oh, yeah. pair with almost anything. Tacos. Because it's got that crispy fish, hit. steak. Yes. Yeah, yes, why steak. tacos, Dylan? <laughs> no, I I, I I can tell you I can tell you for uh, for a oh. fact that Dutch drinks this with mac and cheese. <laughs> I have had it with mac and cheese. Yeah, so, I mean it was very good mac and cheese. Yeah. Uh, it was, uh, you know, gourmet. Yeah. Mm, yeah. They stood the noodles up guy. vertically. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. I love that place. Take a deep deal there, Dylan. Dylan drink a highball instead. I know. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? I don't know. <sighs> Maybe maybe it's just my my enthusiasm, but I feel like I get a hint of like this vanillin, mm. like where what vanillin would provide. Uh, it, it does have there's a something... slight vanilla ish component, but not the artificial one that you get in you know. Not at all. Like it's Costa like you Azul. just scrape some like vanilla bean kind of thing. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's more like citrus you know. vanilla. Like it's like a it's mix a, between the two to me. It's buttery. I mean, in terms Great of mouth feel. You know, I I love the mouth feel. Mm. All right, this mm. is such a powerhouse of a blanco. I mean, what a great start! Oh. Um, doesn't break the bank. Doesn't break the bank. No, You'll find uh, this around. 40. And you can find it. Yeah, you can. Find well, it. still, yeah, you, you can find it in most, most like yeah. grocers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. large yeah. chain liquor stores. I, yeah. I think anytime we've recommended Ocho Blanco, which we probably think is still our favorite of the Blancos, I, this is right there with it. Yeah, like it is. Uh, I mean, and in our blind, it was I think really close second place. It's it's an excellent excellent blanco. I love giving this as a gift. Yeah, um, it looks great. People love it. Wonderful. Incredible. All right. Well, we have a lot more to get through, guys. Let's so, as much as we'd like to sit here and keep sipping on the blanco, we yeah, gotta I just want to sit. Yeah, <laughs> and do it's this. so good. Yeah, All right. So good. All right. Next up is the Oroposado. Take a quick look here. Really, the same motif on these three, just a different color. This kind of has a pinkish color to the to the label. All right. So if you're new to tequila, reposado means rested. So this is, um, you know, usually they're around the six month mark. I believe these are bourbon barrel aged, like most tequilas. Uh, I don't know what brand El Tesoro uses. All right, guys, how is the nose? It's so vastly mm. different. It's it's all the brightness it's is gone, good, replaced with more earthiness. More, yeah. and, and a little bit of that barrel. Almost um, mm. like musty. <laughs> versus yeah. crisp yes right? so crisp yeah mm. so good though i mean yeah. you get the cooked agave i think you're getting less of the I, 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 don't know, I don't know if i agree with your statements i get less citrus on this and it's just much less bright to less me. bright for sure yeah. I feel like that's the core cool. agave is still well represented, of course. and that's yeah, and that's and that's the key component here. It's like you don't, well, but this you is don't like this is like crisp, refreshing, mm-hmm. bright. This is more like savory, a little darker, and a little bit more like it's been cooked down. Uh, the, the way I don't know the best analogy I could think of right now is um, it's like biting into a raw onion versus you're starting to cook but, it a little I agree. bit. That's what I'm saying. And so that caramelization, well, or even like a fruit, like a biting into a, a white grape versus like a stewed grape. Stewed, yeah. yeah. You, know, you don't get so, the bright hit of mm-hmm. fruit flavor. You get the deeper yeah. flavors. And so like when darker. you when you bite into a raw onion, there's a there's a there's a wonder and elegance to that alone. But then. The car- caramelization of the onion also brings out these the sweetness. Now yeah. it's not these like raw mm. um, components trying to Which trying is, to work together. This starts yeah. to put it back it's together. So interesting on the palate too, because the sweetness is a more cooked sweetness. Yeah, <laughs> and, more, yeah, it is. and yeah. spice forward. But it's yeah. it's still to me very very crisp and clean. Mm, I, I disagree. Crisp. That's why I disagree with you guys mm. all the time. I don't find it nearly as crisp and refreshing as the blanco. I yeah. think no one cares. It's a different journey. No one cares about your 
Well, I, well, I, again, I sorry, sorry. Cut that, cut that. Angel, angelic, cut that. Dylan. not no, angelic. Cut that, cut that because... <laughs> Devil because in I'm disguise. Tra- I'm trying to remember, like, uh, this is a video archives for me. Right. And so, so Dylan... Um, Future Dylan. It's still crisp. It's still crisp. It's still crisp. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't have a lot else to say about this. Let's move on to Danielle. Yeah, it's still a transition phase. It's a transition. It doesn't, it doesn't speak volumes to me. It's not bad by any means. If you love repos... This is a great expression of a repo. It just doesn't stand out. But I will say, I think this is an example of why over the years, I basically collect a lot of the Extrañejo and Blancos. Mm -hmm. It's just kind kind of of in the the transition phase. phase. Yeah. 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 Adolescent. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Let's move on. I never went through that, but you know. (laughs) It was born fully developed. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Next up, Añejo. And the bottle on this one, again, the same motif, but we've got just the white background there. Beautiful looking bottle. Yeah, it does say X bourbon barrels, but does not say uh, what brand. Okay. All right, guys. How is the nose on the Añejo? Wow, mm. the sugar pops. It's it's the sweetness that pops now. Yeah, it's really, it's, uh... really prominent. It's in the forefront. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to... There's a, there's a component to it that I'm... Trying to place. I'm getting like it's more floral now. Yeah, the, yes, the, the I, agree. Floral. I agree. But it's, then it's like a it's like a floral butter, sweet butter. Oh, like or something. There's you know? like a savory. Like, there's a savory thing yeah, and almost like an unctuousness to the sweetness. Yeah, or, uh, it, nectar. It's it's just it's it just, like sticky. Yeah, it, nectar like yeah. a like a ambrosia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> almost like a. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. That means you're just making shit up right there. <laughs> It was like a gelatin, like a sweet gelatin, you know. Yeah, no, I, I get, I get what you're saying. Um, th- th- again, I think the common theme here is that the sugar is popping. Yeah. Whereas the reposado is just kind of this thing that's it's it's trying to like break through, like it's trying to break free. Um, it's still in its shell, but I mean, like a little get, bit is a little bit is yeah. peeking out. You still get you know? the agave core. It's very yes. prominent. It's so prominent. It's much more cooked here, tasting though. All right, let's go in. Mm. So this is where I think. I'm I'm getting mint and, and brown sugar, and I get a hint of brown sugar again. It's the sugars that are. It's that, that finish popping. though. I, like the finish is way more. The finish refined. is actually bright to me. Yeah, the well, finish is brighter than the bright. other. Yeah. It's definitely bright. This yeah. is like kind of like you get a lot of the barrel on the front end, yeah. and you get the 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 crisp agave on the back end, which mm. is such a nice journey. I mean, I think for for mm. uh, viewers in the CPU who kind of. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's only a handful of people who have similar tastes as me, but it, it, I, I think this is where I get a little bit frustrated because this is where I, I want something that's bigger. I want an anchor and I still feel like there's potential and yet it is not, it has not yet revealed it. itself. Yeah. And so it's a little bit frustrating to me and I, I would say... If I if I never had this, I don't think I would say, oh my gosh, I'm missing out on a lot. I mean, it's definitely interesting in the journey within the context of the journey. Yeah. But I of of the three core, of the three, I, I still hands yeah the down, Blanco hands Blanco. down for sure. Actually, no. And again, this is like a perfect example yeah. of why I over the many years gravitated toward collecting a lot of Blancos and extra and extra, yeah. yeah, yeah. Of these three core, again, you know, if these are the only three you can find for me. It's the Blanco. The Blanco is going to blow Blanco. everything else out yeah. of the water to me. I mean, Agreed. Um, if you're into mixology, of course, you can do interesting things with the subtle differences here, I'm sure. And the flavors are definitely different. They all yeah. taste very different. Yeah. But you can tell, you know, just by the color alone, I don't know if this is going to pick up on camera, the Añejo is not that much darker than the Repo. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of reused barrels. So this is more about just time resting and what that can that change yeah. versus... It doesn't feel like it pulled in a ton from the barrel. This is almost more like the evolution of the agave sitting there for a year. Yeah, th- I think there is something new, though. It's like that yes, minty, is, minty but... menthol type of component in the mid-palate and at the finish, finish. which yeah. was lacking in the reposado, right? And the sweetness. And it is definitely not there in the in the. Blanco. Well, I would say this. If you, if you try the Blanco and you're like, well, I don't really like that crisp punch in the face. Right. This is where you would go, one of these two. Yeah. Because it's that's muted more. You get more of the cooked agave right. in these and... It tames some of that bright punchiness, yeah. um, but to me, that's that's where I would go. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get on to the next one. All right, next up is the single barrel añejo. 
Uh, let's take a look. This does have a very different bottle shape. It's skinny. This is the Laphroaig edition. I believe there are other other editions, but this was uh, finished uh, in ten year old Laphroaig glasses. Uh, sorry, ten year old Laphroaig barrels. Forty point three percent alcohol. Let's take a look at the back here. Kind of cool looking. Cool idea. Again, this is like purely academic, right? Very academic. I mean, think about think about the extremes. And it's got right. So you have Lefroy, which has all the phenols and the and the peat that you're used to in these kind of peated scotches, and then you have this agave, which comes out, you know, from left field. How's it going to meld together? Yeah. Right? And so before I do anything, I just want when I when you I have, you haven't had this before. No, okay. but when I've I talk about though. when I talk about um, peated scotches, I always say that the peat is the platform, the foundation in which the flavor profile is presented. Right? It's it's the platter, and so I wonder how this is gonna fare. Let's see. I want to see your reaction. <laughs> I get nothing. Like, I get like nothing. It smells I get like the frog. I get nothing. I have a tequila. I smell the frog. It just smells like the frog to me. That's all I can smell. I mean, I get a hint of it. Here, smell mine. Maybe your glass is broken. His nose is broken. No, I, I mean, I, it's very subtle. Yeah, it's, it's not, not huge, overwhelming. But it's like, that's all I can it's smell. It's really subtle. Yeah, it's, it's really Lefroy. subtle, right? No, no, it's no. It's subtle. No, it's subtle. But I mean, all I can really pick up is that Lafroy. <laughs> it doesn't smell like tequila. No, you can get the tequila. I don't, I don't know what you're... Hmm. Uh, maybe I'm just more uh, sensitive to the, the peat. Okay, let's check the palette, guys. Hmm, there it is. It's a weird, mm. it's a weird collision of flavor. Yeah. And the fun, I, it, it's kind of like, I feel like the first two thirds of the palette, it's like, it's like tequila fighting with scotch. And then the finish is just like scotch. You know, the, the, <laughs> if you're a scotch drinker, here's your gateway. I was going to say, no. I think, <laughs> no, I, no, 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 I, I think no, no, no. I'm with you on that. No. If you like Lafroy, you will your, like this. I no, think. no, I don't think scotch. so. I don't like, think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. It tastes okay, like scotch. Okay, comment below, comment below if you've tried this and you are a, you are a, Peated Scotch connoisseur. Let me know if these guys are right. But I disagree. I don't think this is a very good transition. You know why? Because I don't think it's a oh, good transition. I don't transition. think it's good either. I, I think, think it's I, not. I just pulling it's a good transition. No. It's, it's a Scotch drinker would like this. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that because I, I don't like. think it is pulling the peat in the way that it should. Mm. I mean, like academically, intellectually, you would think that you're gonna get that subtle peat that cuts through the agave sweetness. It's not doing that. In fact, what I'm getting is uh, like. The best way I can describe the flavor is like, oh, I got agave and charcoal. Like okay. I'm getting like, you know, charcoal briquette. This is the peat briquette. Yeah, and it's just kind of like, mm. okay, it's actually I, it's getting a little better. Raw, it's actually getting a little better. But this is opening up to me. Like the the fusion of the flavors is. I, I mean, on the light. Yeah, so the the Lefroy aroma is there, but I don't know if it really balances the agave in a, in a positive I way. It's just like a point counterpoint, or just two random points. I don't even know about balancing. Is it even enhancing the agave? No. I can't tell. I just don't think it's, I think it's, it's doing scotch. anything that's great. Yeah, it's just two flavors fighting each yeah. other. Yeah, kind of. I, I I think With they were trying much. to get like. No, here's here's my question. Oh, you're still talking. Yes. Um. Um. <laughs> quiet. You don't even know his name. Do you? Let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Um. Joel? Do you think do you think this was an attempt to be somewhere in between like a mezcal and tequila? Maybe. Where you you're not you're not going full mezcal. No, I think this was like, hey, this can we get Lafroig fans to buy some Altasoro? Thank you. You think so? Yes. I'm yeah. in on that too. That, that I would be disappointed in. I was hoping that they were trying uh, to maybe. meld know. different flavors. I mean, this is right? not for the tequila. This is, this is experimental. Uh, exactly. And it tastes experimental. Yeah. And it's not for the tequila, I mean, maybe the tequila connoisseur, but it's more like the tequila academic. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I can be convinced that maybe some of the flavors that I tasted in some of the um, the mezcal presentation, I can get, yeah, I can get maybe, out of it maybe. a little bit. But, boy, I, I don't know. I'm not convinced. Oh yeah. I'm not convinced that it works really well, and I'm not, I will not recommend this to I don't a, a scotch it. person. It's very academic. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to buy another bottle of it. Yeah. yeah. It's expensive, too. I think it was like 100 bucks. Okay, guys, let's keep moving. All right. All right, let's get to the extra añejo. This is what I'm talking about. Look at that nice blue labeling on this one. Look at that beautiful. Here's the back label, extra añejo. Very, very nice. All right, guys. Oh, 
<laughs> Gorilla Grip Dutch over here. <laughs> yeah, we need a little bit uh, better glue here. Did this happen? <laughs> I feel like this happened. It probably happened while we were another one. pouring the extra Anyo, so it probably didn't make it to the episode. But the glue here, guys, come on. El Tesoro, guys. That is, that's shoddy. It's Dutch. <laughs> All right, extra. <laughs> Dutch went full butch and then <laughs> ripped it off. Uh, I guess. I'm not sure what that means, but. All right. So, a little more age here. How's the nose? I'm, I'm not getting close, and I'm nosing it right now. Yeah. I'm nosing wow. it from here. I'm nosing it from here. Okay, mm. there's your bouquet. I mean, oh, holy moly. It wow. is so completely different than the regular onion. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Complete departure. Yeah. Wow. Again, not the crisp agave. No. Cooked, cooked, but cooked, cooked, but like mm, stewed everything. I mean, it's there's a little bit of funk too, yeah. and it's it's not a bad funk. It's like a it's like what you get when you um you know like ferment things like that kimchi. The, 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 excuse me, sir. <laughs> I was thinking more like a preserve. Like I literally mm. just opened you know a can, a new can or a new mm. jar. Mm. I don't know. I love it. I can't put. Wow. I can't put this one into words, but I love this nose. Okay, so the agave mm. nosing, the the smell has kind of gone down uh, proportionally, yeah, right? A lot, um, kind of a lot. Now you're getting you're getting that woody, almost like it's it's not this brown sugar, thinned out brown sugar. Yeah, syrup. the oak is there. Tiniest bit of vanilla. Oak. Really, really, really cooked agave. Very, very cooked. well formed, sugary. Mm. Aromas. So I'm also getting uh, like get I'm getting like the citrus. you know like the I was gonna say like the effervescence of citrus. Yeah, citrus. Yeah. Yeah. I mean like it's, yeah, effervescence it's, it's is yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I, I get that. Such a hard time to yeah. put this one into words. Yeah, um, it's so unique. It's slightly minty. This is really unique among the uh, lineup. I mean, complete departure. I, I, will say, I would not even recognize it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. From there, I mean, yeah. it's not it's not overly floral. No, but I feel like it it it's trying to get there, but it's not fully there. Well, I, I, would there, there think, I would just think this is like like cactus candy and yeah, biting into yeah. a very very uh, a ripe okay. orange cactus mm. cooler like oh yeah cactus there cooler. it is mm. <sighs> that's, oh, that's a very nice nose it, and, and again <laughs> here it is here's the perfect example why yeah, Dylan extra, yeah, yeah. Angel D- Dylan uh, uh, love the blanco and the extra añejo right here and 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 de Leon. <laughs> De Leon. <laughs> Diablo. Diablo. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I don't I didn't want to use that because Diablo villain. That's what? that's an alliteration, but I don't like that. That's appropriate. We all know what you were trying to say. Exactly. The palette is great. It's not as deep as I would like. Yeah. It's very light. It's very light. That. So I like I like the aroma more than the palette. But this is one where I remember again, you know, in our blind, I feel like this overperformed. Because mm-hmm. by itself I think it's good. But I, if you were to have told me that I would have picked this over any of the other extras that we did in our blind, I would kind of be surprised. I think right. it's really good, but it's not my favorite. Yeah, in a vacuum. Yeah. But head to head, I think it's that brightness it that, that, that makes, makes it, it stand, stand out. out. Yeah. Like, and then the finishes of the other are just you're right in this method. It's like it doesn't stand out. In fact, the finish feels really weak to me. The finish is weak, yeah. but the upfront bright flavors are really good. It punches, yeah. Even mid palate. I mean, the I mean, finish is fine. Mm. It's just not it's very just long, not and it's not movie. very rich. Yeah, I will say it. It's not. It's it's better formed than the añejo for sure. Absolutely. But I feel like there's still possibility of more. Right. Mm. Especially right? on the finish. Right. And because, the mouthfeel is not great. To me because either. we've had yeah. really, really like well aged tequila beyond three five. I mean, I think the oldest one we've had was like thirty. Or 25 to 30. Uh, we had like a 22 or 23. Yeah, something like that. Very old. And so you know where this can go. And I feel like there's still potential here. And it's oh, yeah. just not there. It's not in that bottle. Mm-hmm. Still great. A little drying. Yeah, too. it's a little drying. It's still great. I think you get a little bit more of the oak. And if, you, if you're into doing blinds uh, and you want to do a blind of extras, throw this into the mix. Because I think we were all shocked at how yeah. this will punch through. Though, it, it really is so tell. bright. It, so it, bright at the front. It, it may yeah. Like I'm saying, I think in a in a, in a comparison to other yeah. extras, this might yeah. overperform because yeah. of the brightness. Yeah. Yeah. It just kind it of stands it stands stands, out. stands yeah. out. Yeah. And and you and know once you start getting compliment. muddled, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, it, it might. because in a typical blind too, the finish you usually don't notice. Yeah. It gets muddled finish from gets everything else. Completed, which is why this will stand out even right. all the more. See, that's why that's why like finish. Yeah. Unfortunately, like the well aged ones 
sometimes fail mm-hmm. yeah. uh, blinds, which is ironic because yeah, the finish like, does, I mean, the finish contributes to the whole experience. Yeah, and the finish is yeah the very important class. to yeah. the to to the uh, overall. Uh, still, overall, uh, it's a cheaper extra. And you know, this one will run you around like ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Which and they're around, and it's around. It's available yeah. if you want to try a really good extra anyo that's not going to break the bank. I'd still yeah. recommend it. It's, yeah. it's really good. I just think you know, there's other ones that I would choose to pour over this. Yeah, but that's just me. Agreed. All right, we got to keep moving. All right, pass on down the Paradiso. Did we get a confirmation on the kinds of barrels again? Uh, wasn't that the French one, or was that the? Uh... Oh yeah, I think this was French. Yeah, French oak casks. All right, and here is the Paradiso aged five years. Mm. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Here it is, the back. And here's the little medallion. Kind of cool. Yeah, so X Cognac. That's what it is. Very different bottle shape, too. I I actually, I mean, it's the same as the single barrel. I, I kind of prefer this bottle. Mm. I don't know why. I like it thinner. It's a cool bottle. I like it. It's a good. I like the. Bottle. I like the uh, uh, short, thin neck, as that you would say, <laughs> in in lieu of uh, the long, thin neck. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. All right. All right. So let's see. Different barrel, longer age. Let's see what's going on with this one on the nose. Hmm. Wow. I mean, the thing is, the problem with this, I'm starting with problem, the brandy is just overwhelming. I don't know about that. I think it's great. I think it's great. I think it's a great compliment. I, mean, I think it compliments it really cognac. well. Mm. I get the cognac. I get, like, the tequila. I don't know. I think you think that a, a tequila, you know, purist would say, oh, yeah, this is great. No, but no. they wouldn't like te- tears either. I mean, it's all about the cask influence in here at this point. Mm-hmm. And this is excellent, I think. I, love I, mean, I feel like this is a way better experience than the Laphroaig. Oh, hands I mean, down. On the nose, I, I do like it better than the regular extra as well. I, I mean, this is enjoyable. It has that almost waxy kind of thing to it, too, that I get sometimes in the uh, extra in your house. Man, now that you said that, I can't oh, you know, that you know what this nose. is, though? <laughs> it's like I'm biting into wax. You know what it is? It's... I think there's a problem here. There's a problem... Not, not with this per- particular bottle, but there's a problem with me because... I am thinking, I am thinking, what is it called? Uh, <laughs> what can I think of? The, the, the triple, triple blend. Tears of Yorona? Tears. Oh my God. Yorona. La Yorona. Like, La Yorona uses some cognac, yeah, brandy yeah, I think barrels, it's brandy, right? Scotch, yeah, so, so I feel like this is a piece of it, and you're, I'm always thinking like, is there something missing? Because... I'm so used to drinking. Yeah, it's the- different. It's different. But let's just try the palate. I'm trying the palate. Yeah. Mm. It's, mm. Mm. it's mm. Mm. very fresh tasting. It's kind of got the crispness. It's very much the, the crispness. Blanco. Feels more drying. I'm not more sure dry. if I'm getting. A- it's not a very rich mouthfeel. <laughs> no, not at all. But I want to say I'm not even sure I'm getting much flavor. I'm getting a lot of flavor. Um, I'm getting it on the front end. I mean, on the surface, I don't. I can't see anybody try this and say, oh, this is bad. Mm. Like, they're not going to say that. They're going to say, wow, there's definitely lots of sweetness. Mm. There's a lot of fruit coming in. There's a lot there's of A lot grape, of complexity. A lot of complexity. I think the body is really good. I think that's that's really prominent. Yeah. The body is the definitely... I mean, the legs are um, crazy on this thing. Actually, however, I'm enjoying myself. How, well, yeah, so, so yeah. I have to use the however, right? Yeah. However, I'm not sure if it's yet again fully formed mm-hmm. because there's a component of the balance... That I feel like is missing. Like yeah. I don't know why there's a there's a little bit too much of the cognac barrel influence. It's a little I, I drying. Just, I, yeah, it's just it's like really I feel like yeah. What is that analogy where like somebody overdoes it, overdoes something? Like they do they overdo. Were they uh, they uh, dill in it. Pre ejaculation. <laughs> Overdid they over. <laughs> okay. Why am I? I can't even speak English. Overdoes, overdoes, right? Um, Overdid. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, okay. Jeez. Uh, All right. First video of the day. Let's go, guys. Okay. Um, yeah, it's seven a.m. Um, I think they overdid it a little bit in terms of the cognac, I and I feel like there needs to be something that balances it out. I, I, 
I, I, think, I think this is a good. I marriage. think my issue is I just think it's it not be body. I mean, the flavor is kind of interesting, but there's something about this balance that's that's making it a little bit challenging for me to fully enjoy yeah. it. Mm. There, 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 there's yeah, that's what I'm saying. there's no oh, doubt that anybody who kind of uh, does a cursory tasting of this will say this is good, right? And yet. If I were to sit here and start drinking it more and and really get into the the do a deep dive, I'm gonna say, okay, is it balanced in the way that we expect? Of a where of yeah, a where like tequila. is are the sugars, the fruits, and the barrel influence are they all meshing together appropriately? I feel like it is not. I feel like there's a mm. there's a disconnect at some point where. Am I tasting more of the cognac barrel? Right. And what happened to the agave? Is it just like me taking a tequila and cognac and just kind of going like this? See, that's what I felt like with the Lafroig. <laughs> well, I'm getting that with this, yeah, with this as well. I, I see what you're saying. But, I, don't, I mean, again. I don't think it's bad. It, I don't think it's bad. It's, I think it's really good. It's just, I feel like my perspective more is like, it's really good, but it could be better. Yeah. You know, Again, at this yeah. age and, and at this price point, I feel like it could be better. It's still really good, but um, I think what we should do is we should keep this glass yep. and let's pour the old mm. the old iteration and see, let's compare. All right, guys, so we've got another glass now. Let's put a uh, sticker so we can tell the difference. We're gonna put a yellow sticker on the, uh, the new label one. All right, let's take a look at the bottle. The old school. Paradiso. Let's turn that sideways so you can see the nice name there. Very different presentation here. 1139 on the back. You can see the serial number and the lot numbers. Look at the look at the the, uh, and you can see the, the date. The date. Look right at the there. dust on this bottle. All right. So yellow sticker on this one. All right. Let's take some bets. Same, better, worse. Mm. I don't know. The new hotness. I feel like it might be very similar, but I also think it might be a little better. I'm gonna say better. I would guess that, but uh, I'm gonna say worse. Oh. oh, interesting. Why? Just to be different? Yeah. All right. Old Coke. Original Coke. This is not Crystal Co Crystal it's Pepsi. Not, uh, it's before New Coke. It's Coke Two. This is not a. Uh, the president select. Whoa. Hmm. Oh, the okay. nose is I much like the different. Nose. I like the nose way more on this new one. It's much more concentrated and focused. More hollow. Hollow. No, I think it's more concentrated. No, this is the new one. I mean, the old. This is way, is way concentrated. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's way more focused. <laughs> mm. This is nice. This is nice. It is nice. See, see, this feels like here's. What I'm trying to get. Oh here. wow! Yeah. You know what? I'm getting the <laughs> but, grape I mean, getting now. The I'm getting form. the grape now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm actually getting the grape, but it's not overwhelming. Mm. I still get that little agave there. All right. I'm just gonna go back to the old one, or the sorry, the the new one. All right. Here's the new. Yeah. The new. The new is just so much more chaotic on the nose. Yeah. The green. I th what did I say about the balance? Spicier. What did I say about the balance? Yeah. You're, right. I hear it. So the old one again. Oh, oh so grapes. Oh wow! Just it's grapes. sweet. Delicious. All right, let's try the palate. Target the grape. In. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> it is so different. <laughs> it's completely different. Agave so jam. Different. Agave yeah, jam. Yeah, you could pour this on pancakes. <laughs> I mean, this is... Uh, wow. It's... <gasps> syrupy. And it's so... So mm. focused. Oh, so delicious. I <laughs> see. Mm. I hate that. You know, no, I hate it's got, that. It's got that... <laughs> Sweetness, savory. I hate thing it when this happens. It's I hate so it when the good. I hate it when the old one's better than the new one. The new one should always be better. This pisses me off all the time. Wow. Wow. I mean, this is night and day. They're folks. completely different. This it's is not even. This that is not even. I mean, you can. I don't. I don't know if. If I had this no, blind, no. I don't think I could identify the the manufacturer. Yeah, yeah. I, it's I, so completely different. It's completely, completely different. different. Just the experience, though, man. I mean, that's. Oh, so I gotta fun. go back. I gotta go back and forth there once. Okay, so I feel justified in what I said about the new Paradiso because this, the, the old the one old presents, one presents better. Yeah. a better balanced mm -hmm. flavor profile. Yeah. 
right? Because what they oh, do man. is oh. what they're doing. Okay, and so, you're not getting a departure from the tequila. Okay, so I, I, the, I feel the, like the, they're I getting know, but the core pa- the, it's the packaging. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. this is packaged, and and there's this yeah. core of something sweet cooked agave in the middle yeah, and all these other flavors around. And it's like it's like with the new one, it's just like, here are all the ingredients. Deconstructed. Deconstructed. It's deconstructed. It's deconstructed. But here's the thing. But I, without I, something in the middle. Yeah, I feel that... It's n- not even deconstructed. It's ran over, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. No, it, it's you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's deconstructed, it's but, but what happened is, you know, they have it on all on the plate, but because you don't know how to eat it, it's just kind of coming in all over the place. This, it is, it is like a sphere yeah. where in at its core is agave mm-hmm. cooked jammy it, agave it, it is so perfectly mm. contained and presented and it's like here is this wonderful flavor and if you want to know mouth, yeah mouth. exactly if you want to <laughs> know how agave can pair with grape like here it is this is a wonderful presentation it stinks that this is yeah, well, and apparently this batch, is extinct. Batch A and B were even better than this one. Apparently, uh, Dr. right? Andrew this is Batch C. This was what ten years ago, or yeah, it's twenty thirteen. Oh, and I gotta say, you know, I don't know if he's gonna watch this, but Cesar, thank you for giving me this bottle. Oh, was it was it Cesar? Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you it are the a wonderful man. gift from him, and I uh, seriously am uh, humbled to have received it. But man, I love this. this it's a lost treasure. <laughs> this is it's lost paradise. Out of this paradise lost. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. There it is. Well, well, there it is. Gorilla grip, Dylan. <laughs> there it is. Paradise lost. Wow. And on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever read it? <laughs> yeah. Of course. It's, it's and like, the cliff notes. It's like, <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's, like it's like Moby Dick. <laughs> I never read it. <laughs> what movie? What? <laughs> All right, guys, let's do... Captain Ahab. Let's do, let's do a bit of a recap. Okay. Okay. Uh, what we a have, journey. We have bookends. What okay. a we have but perfect bookends, and perfectly to Dylan's point, the, the old Extrañejo and the current Blanco are the perfect bookends here, because these are the, the two standouts. Yeah. For sure. I think, I, I will say, how do you, I want to ask this question. How does El Tesoro um, distinguish itself amongst all these other non-additive tequilas. How would you describe this to somebody approaching tequila and say, like, what are you if, if, they ask, yeah, if they ask you, like, well, th- tell me about Fortaleza. Tell me about G4. Tell me about well, El Tesoro. How are you going to describe well, this? What I would tell you, you, what you really get in all of these, despite some of the ones we like better than others, is you have a very good agave core. Mm-hmm. And you can really taste what the agave core does as it ages. Yeah. Despite our misgivings about the current parody, so I still think it, it is a nice bookend to this one yeah. because it shows you where that agave can go. But also this. appreciation of the technique. I mean, that's what oh, we're absolutely. getting out of this. The right? stone like crush. stone crush, yeah. You know. Well, okay, so uh, the way I would... Oh, uh, do you have something to say? That's it. So what I would go. say what I would say is this. The, the way that I think of El Tesoro is certain brands will have, as, as it's aged more you have more and more and more barrel influence where the proportion is like in the extra Nieho, it's going to be like 80% barrel versus like 20% of the the flavor profile you would typically get in a Blanco. Mm. So you would have that kind of ratio where here El Tesoro is the reverse where it's always 80% like even at the extra Nieho, agave, yeah, it's a lot the of agave, blanco yeah. flavor profile yeah. remains a lot more. It's, the core it's is there. stronger yeah. than what you would get from barrels. So, like, I don't know if it's because they use like multi-age barrels where you just get subtle. Like they just like to I like think a lot of it's the technique, yeah. It's just a, it's just I mean, a soupçon. Yeah. Well, you can tell yeah, you're soupçon you're, of you're of starting with this, yeah, exactly. and you can tell how good the white dog is. Here. Exactly, yeah, this is yeah. exceptionally good. Exceptionally yeah. good, and you can kind of see like with minimal barrel is. influence, right. What happens? Where next or maybe they're they're saying, you know what? We don't want to lose the blanco because yeah. it is so good. This is so good. We yeah. don't want the barrel from you know some <laughs> gringo country. Uh, <laughs> You know, a take over. I'm not believing that. You <laughs> have to believe that. Um, uh, you know, take over our core, core flavors that we like painstakingly pulled out of this yeah. plant, right? This is the pure, and, this yeah, is it's the pure the, product. It's right the pure here. product. So, and it's perfect. That's how I describe <laughs> El Tesoro. Somebody asks me, like, why should I get any of this? It's like, well, every single iteration still at its core in terms of the proportion of the Blanco flavor profile remains now i will say in that vein this doesn't make sense 
The Be old parodies. Old parodies, yeah. so doesn't make sense because it, here, they're, they're, it's all Blanco. Blanco yeah. flavor retains. This one, it, it's it's starting to become you get more it with, of the other. You get it with the current, you get it with the current it's, parodies. It's so. really well balanced, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know if it retains the, like, the, the DNA that it has decided to yeah. express mm -hmm. in this side. Yeah, but the current parody so I think does. I think the current parody so does. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. And I think that makes sense. It like still holds. The, the 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 stone topper ones all really flow. Yeah. The old Paradiso is like an anomaly. It's, I, like, I, it's like what did I, you do? That's what what crazy magic was that? I wish <laughs> I wish that the cognac, even if they were they were, I mean, like this, the cognac part isn't toned down. This is toned down to some degree. I wish this one had. A little bit more balance, yeah. And and I don't know if there's it's, a lot of good component parts. It just it just like the it needs maybe, a little more maybe refinement. blending like a different you know I don't know I mean how many how many times they use a cognac barrel yeah. or like maybe different maybe they don't have they shouldn't be using cognac maybe they should be using brandy from other parts of the world. I yeah, mean maybe. like maybe that's maybe. how you get. Or maybe uh, they need to do a henny extra now. Oh, Think God. about the marketing opportunities. Team. Look at this guy <laughs> trying to look at this guy trying to relate. No, know, I'm cool. trying to be trying to be cool. It's cool like that. All right, guys. Well, this has been super fun. Um, mm -hmm. A really fun drink through. I am so impressed with the Blanco every time I yes. drink it. Yeah. The rest of this is super fun, excellent products. I mean, I think you nailed it earlier, dude. The white dog. <laughs> this is just phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, when you have like a nice base core. And it's kind of like somebody like, do. well, let's age it, but I don't really want to. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, do we really need like, to put right, this in the barrel? Yeah. yeah. Like, like, do you, you know, really need to put this in the barrel? Sure. Yeah, you know, sure. Like, whatever. Like, you know, well, that's a perfect example. It's like, oh, let's just do it for the scotch drinkers. Right. Like, we want to drink this. That's all for you all. You know? Yeah. 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 People across the border, they like to hear extra Nyeho. So let's just throw it in there or whatever. But even though you don't need it. But, you know, the Craftsmanship comes out right at the beginning, yeah. right at the beginning. This is perfect, right? Yeah, you know, why, why mess with it's it? It's beautiful. It's the fifth element. All right, Jules, take us out. <laughs> Tell us what you guys think in the comments <laughs> below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, let us know how you feel about this episode. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. If you want to help us out, please consider joining Curiosity Private, membership program here on YouTube and Patreon. We also sell t shirts, actually, both of these. I don't it's know about this one. No, it's still this available is limited on one of our sites. It's limited yeah. edition. If you have guys. a podcast on major podcast platforms, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, stay curious. This is definitely limited edition. It's gonna be gone soon. That uh, it's it's still on one of the sites. Right. I, I I want more of this. That's I mean I want another bottle of it. I, don't I mean this more. is the, I mean you're not, I don't think you're gonna get it right. No, I mean if you ever see this, you gotta. We buy gotta it. go somewhere deep inside some gringo country. <laughs> <laughs> I know my brother has one of these, and I think his might be a B batch. Hold on, wow, wow. yeah, hold on to that. And I think Doctor Oju has another one. Dr. Uh, probably and then the other Cesar, Junior, he has Junior has one. I think he has oh, a couple. Yeah. Okay. Wow. You've seen his, his collections. Yeah, he's yeah. huge. Massive. He's huge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <sighs> dare I say bigger than Dylan's bunk? It, it actually, for tequila, it is. Seriously. <laughs> Way bigger. Mm. Uh, he may even have the A-batch. He probably does. I mean, hey. I know Dylan just upgraded. but Why don't we, uh, we need to invite him over to the, uh, the gathering, man. So this is produced and bottled by Tequila Tapatio. The old one. Is it the same uh, NOM? It can't be. Is it 1139? How, how did I not know this? Is it? 1139. Tomatillo is 1139. Okay. So we should have mentioned that. <laughs> same NOM. Well, you just can mention did. it now. There we go. Just did. <laughs> I would take the Excellencia, though. Note to editor. Over the Paradiso, I think. It's better balance. Yeah. But it's much more expensive. No, nothing parody, so. But the same. Like 160, 150. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is, that's what that's, this usually runs. Oh, man. I wish I could find some more of this stuff. Seriously.
Lost, uh, lost angel. Lost angel. Dion. Amazing. Angel. Angel Dion. Can you reach for that, Dylan? Which one? Stop button. Where is it? It's the square <gasps> button. They're all square. No. Down. Down, down. This one? Yeah. yeah. That one. This one? Yep. 